They want us to verify this trig identity. And the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to show you how I like to set it up. I like to take this answer right here and write it way at the bottom. Some teachers have you do this, and some teachers don't mind how you organize it. But it, I, I like to do it this way because then I can see that I'm starting, I'm starting with this right here, the left side, and I'm changing it until I get down to this last answer. So I'm starting here, and I'm saying this equals whatever I write here, which equals whatever I write here, which equals whatever I write here, which equals whatever, until I get down to the answer, and that proves that I've done it right. Okay? So the tricky part is to figure out how to get to the answer, and this is kind of like a chess. It's like kind of like a, a game of chess. You want to look at the problem and figure out, hmm, how am I going to get from here to here? So kind of keep your eye on both of them as you're going. Notice that I've got cosecant and secant, which re which are related to sine, cosine, I'm sorry, sine and cosine, respectively. And I have sines and cosines up here. So that's kind of a good deal, but hmm, how am I going to do this? Well, a lot of times the first thing to do is just to kind of go with your gut. And my gut says that I'm going to have to take and make common denominators <clears throat> out of both of these. So I'm going to multiply this equation by sine over sine. And I'm going to multiply this equation by cosine over cosine. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'll get this. I'll get sine squared theta, because that's what this is going to be, right? Over <coughs> sine theta cosine theta. If I multiply this times this, that's what I'll end up with, right? Plus, here I'm going to get cosine squared theta over sine theta cosine theta. All right, now I have common denominators, which allows me to do what? Sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta all over sine theta cosine theta. Now you have to look at your sheet, your trig property sheet, and you'll see, hey, look, I've got that. I know what that is. That's equal to 1. That's what I had in my numerator. This up here equals 1. So I can simplify this as 1 over sine theta cosine theta. All right, now I can break this up as 1 over sine theta <coughs> times 1 over cosine of theta. Oh which equals cosecant times secant, and I'm done. The trick here is that you really have to know your properties well. You're not, not only these properties, but you have to know the properties of algebra, which say that you're allowed to do, for instance, what I just did right there. So that's where you're really getting, you're getting down to the nitty-gritty with that stuff, but that's how you do that problem.